Back with the market right here on 80 now. Let's revisit what the market rates have settled in at. And after what looked like a quiet start, we've made a fresh record high for ourselves. 16,400 here on the index after us. Um, you know, just circling around that mark in trade uh, yesterday. Uh, we're holding up a good 73 points in trade. The breadth of the market as well in favor of the advances. So far, at least about 102 FNO names are standing to the greens. Uh, you've got Siemens after its numbers holding up 3%. Tara Consumer are the industries come in. So you can't really drop a trend, at least when it comes to the broader markets. Within the Nifty, there's Hindalco, there's Bajaj Auto, there's BPCL, there's TCS. ITC holding up 1%, HDFC, LNT and Shree Cement are the ones which are pushing forward. Continues to reel under pressure, A, the entire pharma pack, Bharti as well consolidating a little bit today, down 6 tenths of a percent and Aishan Motors mm -hmm. continues its downtick from yesterday. But let me welcome on board uh, the management of uh, Midhani Industries. They're back in the black and they've managed to post a steady Q1. So let's talk a little bit more about the quarter gone by, the visibility going forward. We have with us Anjay Kumar Jha, the chairman and an MD at Midhani joining in on the show right now. Sanjay, hi, good morning. Good to have you on the show. Just looking at uh, the numbers morning. right now, your margins have come off from those 30% plus levels. What would you attribute this to? Well, this is mainly uh, this time. Uh, you are talking about the quarter one of uh, 21 FI, 21, 22. Yes. So in this yes. quarter... There is a substantial increase in our uh, profit. If you see the last uh, quarter of uh, 2021, we had a loss, so we incurred a loss of around, uh, a very meager loss of around 42 lakhs. And now from there, we have come back and now we have uh, get the profit. And we have got the profit of uh, around uh, 16 crores profit we have earned in this quarter. Leasing 32%. And uh, we also have, we also you can see that in this quarter our export has almost doubled. more than double we have got the export and uh, even though the real uh, sales has not increased significantly but the VOP has increased by 41 percent. So considering those factors and also this quarter as it has happened for uh, us also but like uh, all, all of us. Uh, uh, this quarter has got hardly affected because of uh, second wave. So in spite of that, uh, we could able to sustain this uh, uh, position. And order booking also has improved during this period. We have started uh, order book uh, uh, around uh, 1,400 crores. And now we are at the level of uh, around 1,500 crores in spite of doing the certain amount of sales. So what I mean to say that this quarter in uh, the product operation front, there is significant improvement. Now only coming from the revenue side, we'll see that as we progress in the second and third quarter, it will be definitely will be getting the uh, momentum, provided we should not get affected uh, from the uh, third wave, which may or may not come, but that is going to have the uh, problem in the future, the, the, the condition for the company. And also on the project front, we have done a significant jump in our uh, uh, portfolio because the project, uh, whichever was under the commissioning or in the erection stage, has got a lot of momentum. In spite of having the, seen the uh, impact of COVID, and uh, we are now starting, uh, the commissioning has started for our one of our very big uh, project, which was uh, uh, getting it started sometime four years back. So these are the conditions today for the company. And I'm hopeful that with the coming time, we'll have a better position and better performance uh, into the future. Sure, good to hear that. Also wanted to understand what's been the average rise in costs that you've incurred in the quarter gone by and what's the status now? If you see the, what are the rising cost on the front of raw material, uh, in fact, uh, and considering the value of production, raw material consumption has come down significantly because during this period, what we have done that we have de developed certain uh, technology where we are able to recycle our rewards and scrap, which we generate during the processing of the material. So that has helped us in cutting down the cost of the raw material. On the, in the front of employee cost, there is some small amount of increase 
and also we had certain amount of uh, uh, since it is a basically uh, we have gone for the higher vop so uh, considering that uh, higher vop in fact there is a saving in the fixed cost side because the fixed cost in fact we had the saving of around 16.6 crores so this is also help us in uh, that's why we are able to uh, generate the profit in this quarter even though our sales has not uh, increased from the previous quarter of uh, 2021 Okay, you know the reason why we are actually asking you about cost, Dr. Jha, is because uh, these last two quarters you were delivering margins of 45, 30 percent. Now it's come down to 22.3, 22 and a half ish odd percent. So is this because you know in the last two quarters your top line was obviously a little higher, and this time around it's it's a little lower. Like you mentioned, you've not been able to sell enough. So is that the reason? No, the margin depends on the product mix. And the product mix, uh, most of the items, which if you are entering in the area of, say, let's say in the low value uh, category, the margin will definitely come down. But the, today, the main uh, challenge is that how we can increase out the volume also. So with the rising volume, definitely margin may come down, but the total overall profit and overall our performance will be uh, better. Because if you see the last uh, financial year of 2021 also, we have uh, uh, got the uh, profit, there's an increase of profit over the previous year of around 6 to 7% increase there. So margin will be differently, it will be fluctuating, but getting 20, 30%, 40% margin is really difficult for any industry where we are working, even though since our is, industry is a uh, industry where we are supplying the NIST material. So in, because of that only our margin is coming on the higher side, but if you take the across the all metal industry, industry the margin of 20% will be very difficult to achieve, even the 20% also. So I am seeing that margin is quite good, and uh, this will be, if you are able to maintain that level also, it will be uh, good for the, us in the coming, uh, in the, in the future, for the future. No, no, no doubt. I mean, you know, you achieve 45, 30 percent. I, I think um, the street got kind of uh, very uh, ent uh, enthusiastic as well about that. So, Dr. Jha, since you spoke about product mix, let's talk about that. Um, you know, how did you see that mix between defense and space in Q1 and aerospace as well? Uh, and, you know, what's the different margin that all of these different segments carry? Uh, see, what uh, uh, if you see our product mix, eh? Uh, in the uh, first quarter, whatever we have achieved, almost uh, we have given almost 65% we have given for the space. Our uh, supply has been almost around 65%. And uh, defense, uh, followed by the defense around 20-25% uh, of the defense has gone. So similar trend will be maintained, but uh, definitely if the end of the financial year, uh, 20 on 22, uh, defense will slightly pick up and space will slightly come down, but since the volume of the uh, that space remaining constant, uh, defense is increasing uh, on, the, on the higher level. So definitely the percentage wise, the uh, defense is going to also increase. But still in spite of that, this year also, space will be the major part, major uh, part of our supplies. And because order book also we have uh, today, in our order book also, we have 65% order book is from the space only followed by the defense around 20 percent so this is going to be supply is also coming in the similar fashion but but the the margin as far as the product mix is concerned see in the space and defense also all items are not the NIS item there are certain commercial items also where we have to compete against the uh, that uh, tender or even the global tender so there we are trying to get our more and more, or we are also getting, trying to get the orders so that uh, we'll remain, our volume remains on the higher side. Since our capacity also enhancement is there, we have the higher cap capacity increases there. So we can absorb, we can take uh, more and more uh, products in our portfolio and increase our sales accordingly. Hmm. Okay, so 65% of your order book is coming from space. I think that's that's quite a change, really, because in FY21, the government's space budget as well was obviously weak, you know, for obvious reasons. So 
the fact that you are seeing an increase in you know uh, orders coming from the space segment is it an indication that in FY22 the government is ready to spend more in that segment um i think whatever order we have uh, today we are having it was coming from the previous uh, before the post uh, pre covid only those orders have come to us and during covid period some slightly whatever i have mentioned about some of the orders we have got from the space under competitive bidding so orders are there from the previous uh, uh, the earlier one only but what i see as you rightly told the defense uh, the expenditure uh, or the expenditure in the space is slightly less to uh, means uh, budget is less on the space but our orders remains intact and now they are also they are also pick up because these are all long term requirements not a short term requirement so it cannot be reduced immediately it takes time to even even the projects are not there but today i see the space projects have again picked up so i don't see any reason that uh, this orders the scope of getting more and more orders will be less in case of space All right, Mr. Jha. Thank you so much for taking the time and uh, for taking us through uh, the performance of the quarter gone by, and also uh, the outlook for the future. Wish you all the best.